Kentucky's Eyewitness News, Jeopardy! It is time for round four of Eyewitness News Jeopardy. And filling in for Ron Rhodes is Hoops Green Oops. from Holland Road College. Yes. All right. All right. Glad so, to have you here. Thank you, thank awesome. you, so, Hoops, here's the thing. Jake and Gretchen have been going all morning long. We're doing this all week long, by the way. At five, six, seven, and eight o'clock hour. They're tied at 4,400 right now. We're just calling it points because we don't have the money to be doling out. <laughs> oh, You've got to get as many <laughs> points as you can. Then we're going to triple them. And that's what Ron Rhodes gets. He's the morning meteorologist. Oh, he's he taking the oh, okay. right. But hoops, whenever we beep in, you can beep in as soon as you want. You've got yep. to make the beep beep sound because okay. all we have are these pins. So. And I can't tell whose pins clicking what. <laughs> but, I, but if you get, if you go beep beep, beep uh, then I know who it, then I, then I know who it is. Yeah. All right. So here are the categories for round four: animals, audio video linkage, I love it. <laughs> packages, U.S. landmarks. Who's muted? <laughs> and Ron to the studio, please. <laughs> those are things. Those you are for us. Those yeah. are things you hear very often in, the, in our building. Ron, your mic is muted, and Ron to the studio. <laughs> We're gonna help. Hoops out here because you're probably not too familiar with the way news works in right. the Evansville area. So we're going to go U.S. landmarks. Uh -oh. We'll start at right. 400. Here's the question: It is located about 170 miles from here and is called the <laughs> Gateway to the West. Jake, <laughs> what is the St. Louis Arch? That is correct. Yes, oh. Jake oh. for 400. Yeah. Gotta be quick. Gotta Hoops. be quicker than that. You gotta be quick. <laughs> All right, moving on here. Didn't know that one. <laughs> $800. All right, Hoops. You gotta know this one here. <laughs> this lady was a gift from France in 1886. Gretchen. Sorry. What is the Statue of Liberty? That is correct. Yes. She's, oh, not gonna let, she's not gonna sorry. let you win sorry. because you're representing Ron, and that's the problem. Uh, yeah. Yeah. If you're I representing it. yourself, I, I would. I no, I'm just kidding. I get sorry. it. By, by the end of the week, Ron's gonna be like negative 5,000. Anyway, <laughs> so, I mean, it's all good to go. What was the, right. the answer? Was what? The Eiffel Tower? Statue of Liberty. Okay. That is my, I, my brain was that's all France. That's and, uh, that's yeah, I saw France and I was like, the gift? What lady? That's over in Paris. <laughs> my <thoughts. laughs> okay. U.S. landmarks. Eiffel Tower. Good job, Jake. <laughs> I think I was on the same page as you. Right. Uh, it's a good thing you guys didn't answer that. Uh, what's the lean Tower of Pisa? <laughs> all right. <laughs> $1,200 question. Ooh. Joseph Strauss designed this 1.7 mile landmark that opened in California in 1937 and is still used today. I think I know it. Oh. I do too, but I'm going to let her answer. No, you're a, you're don't a, you're let me answer. BB? BB? Jake. <laughs> what is the Golden Gate Bridge? That is correct. Oh, yes. yes. That is the Golden Gate. It that is, is worded Golden weird. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's see. Oh, come on, Hoops. I know. Here. You should have done a sports category, Joe. Here. That's the that's the question right there. You see? Oh, she's okay. oh my and that's, gosh, and that's the, what is and happening? That's, and that's the answer. <laughs> Don't feel bad for her. She's a globe trotter. You know what I mean? <laughs> Since 1836, Americans have been asked to remember this former Franciscan mission in San Antonio, beep, Texas. Beep, beep. Hoops. The Alamo. That's correct. The Alamo. What? 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 <laughs> I, I went to school in Texas for, you know, four years. Oh, so you I should have known that. Yeah. Okay. Without okay, the cheat sheet. Without, Without the cheat sheet, you should have known it. Good for you. It's on now. It is on. <laughs> all right. This one, I think all of you are going to know. So it's going to be who can beep in the fastest. All right. I'm looking back here. 2000. This massive feat of engineering on the Colorado River creates hydroelectric power for parts of seven states. Beep, beep, beep. Jake, what is the Hoover Dam? That's correct, oh, yes. All right. Geez. Vegas vacation. <laughs> Vegas vacation. I saw it. I have seen it. Really? I don't remember it, but I have seen it. That's Mark, the last, that was the last one, right? I don't know. For the day, I'm saying we're done, Oh, right? yes, that's the last one. Yes, so that means I'm in the lead. So I don't know what kind of tally we have because they've got to start doing the math right now. Oh, Jake has 8,000. Wow, right. Jake. Gretchen, 5,200 for Gretchen. Ooh. And hoops. 4,800 because we're yes. multiplying it. Oh, <laughs> man. Hey, thanks for playing with us here. Yeah, that was thank fun. You. Thanks a lot, Ruth. Those are tough. And the reason Man's that right. we are doing this, starting tomorrow night on ABC 25 at 7 o'clock, it is the greatest of all time Jeopardy. Three contestants going against each other, the top three all time of Jeopardy, vying to win $1 million. The first one to win three games takes that with one million dollar jackpot home that's on tuesday night on abc7 excuse me abc25 at seven
We should have had hoops dribble the whole time. Yeah. We should have. You probably would have thought that's like, how clear hoops or dribble around. Ding, ding. <laughs> Maybe, oh, that would have been great. All right, coming up next, thanks to Hoops again and the Globetrotters for coming in. A New Jersey man wanted to make sure that there were no sparks or there were sparks when he proposed to his girlfriend. Apparently, they were literal. We'll tell you what happened.